A little warning here. This video discusses topics such as depression, social anxiety, loneliness, and suicide. If that makes you uncomfortable or is possibly triggering for you, I highly advise you click off the video now. If not, thank you for watching and enjoy the video. I think we've all been cooped up for so long now that we've had a lot of time to kill with entertainment. Because of the state of the world being terrible as always and me not wanting to go outside because ew, vitamin D. <laughs> I've been getting into what I call weeb mode. I've been watching Hunter x Hunter, Demon Slayer, playing tons of Jump Force, you know, the works. And then there's Naoko Yamada's A Silent Voice. I'm gonna butcher a lot of Japanese names in this video. Just deal with it. A film that stumbled into my life at the perfect time, it seems like. This movie isn't just enjoyable or fun to watch, it's a cinematic experience that takes the viewer on an emotional journey that devastates you, gives you hope, leaves you speechless, and has personally impacted me in a way that I think others need to experience. There are no major spoilers here, but if you want to go in completely blind, then please go watch this beauty right now. It's amazing, and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. This is why you should watch A Silent Voice. Most people in their lifetime have faced some sort of bullying. People are fucking despicable sometimes, and there's no way around that. A Silent Voice demonstrates this idea that all people are flawed in a masterful manner. Most movies that involve bullying as a subject matter will tell the tale from the victim's point of view, emphasizing how horrible the things that are happening really are. A Silent Voice subverts this trope perfectly by instead placing the protagonist label on the bully. Shoya is a normal elementary school kid, but his class gets a new student who is deaf named Shoko. Shoya doesn't understand Shoko and thus him and many classmates bully her relentlessly. It becomes genuinely hard to watch at points to show how fucking horrible this kind of abuse is. But Shoko still never breaks her smile, even when Shoya rips out her damn hearing aids causing her to bleed. I was bullied, but holy fuck, that is horrible. She apologizes to everyone and doesn't hold a hatred towards them still. This section of the film is brutal, but brilliant. Does the film make us feel bad for Shoko and hate Shoya? Yes, but then, when Shoya is outcast as a result of being the bully, it turns these emotions on their head. You don't know what to feel about Shoya due to his actions in the past, but now as he is bullied in high school and contemplates suicide, the only thing that remains true is that the world is just a cruel place sometimes. But ironically, Shoko is the one thing that keeps Shoya from ending his life. The hope of having a friendship with her is what keeps him alive for the time being, even with the troubles they both face in the modern day, including anxiety. This is a heavy, complicated theme that A Silent Voice portrays in an abstract but amazing way that literally blew my mind. Shoya is suffering from social anxiety due to his mistakes as a child leading him to a lonely, isolated life in high school. The film shows his isolation by putting a blue X over everyone's face around him, meaning he can't look at them or interact with them. This is how the world feels to Shoya, and he is the lens ultimately that we are looking at the world through. The movie goes even further on this point by giving us POV shots for Shoya as he looks at people's feet and can't make eye contact. This makes us feel what Shoya is feeling, which is strange because 20 minutes ago you thought you could only hate this guy, but suddenly you feel bad for him and empathize with him. I think the choice to put a blue X over everyone's face to show the social anxiety and isolation that Shoya feels was a real ballsy one because it's kinda out there and abstract, but I really like it and as someone who kinda deals with this sort of thing, it kinda sums up the feeling of even though you're around tons of people you can still feel lonely in a really weird but awesome way and I have to respect the film for that and that makes the moments where the X's peel away and he makes genuine connections with people all the more satisfying and heartwarming and I found you too <sighs> is something wrong what 
about nothing. The most important connection of all being with Shoko, of course. But despite these two being the focus, most characters in the film showcase very real connections with our main characters and have their own set of emotions and flaws that get showcased. This level guy is defensive of his friends to a fault. Shoko's sister dedicates her life to helping her sister to the point where she doesn't even know her purpose in life. This girl is continuously toxic towards Shoko, probably due to a crush on Shoya. This movie really shows these people as people, and people have flaws. I'd say most of the characters are very deep and make me feel something towards them, and showcase what the emotions that run through their head can really make them do towards other people and themselves. But again, these two and how their connection grows is what really shines here. They have a complicated history and thus their relationship in the modern day is also complicated. Shoko has the continuous problem of feeling all the bad things that happen to her and those around her are her fault, which is actually pretty common with people who struggle with mental anguish, sadly. And you can't help but just want to pat her on the back and tell her that it's okay. Shoya, on the other hand, wants her to see that she makes his life worth living and doesn't hurt him. And you can feel the deep emotional connection between the two and you can't help but root for them. It doesn't get too romantic, which I kinda was hoping for, but in the end, whenever these two were together, my eyes could not leave the screen. And Yamada really deserves all the credit in the world for making a deaf girl and her former bully feel so relatable and likable when they find each other. This film, at its core, is all about connections between its characters, whether they be toxic ones like we see at the beginning of the film, or the close developments of those connections to characters that simply need them. It's safe to say that Shoya and Shoko need one another. Without the connection that they share, it's quite possible they both would be dead. Connections, or the lack of them in life, can cause many beautiful and terrible things, like feelings of depression, social anxiety, isolation, and suicidal thoughts or actions. A silent voice knows that, and portrays it with a beautiful parallel of Shoko being deaf and not being able to speak properly, thus affecting her relationships with people, and Shoya feeling like he doesn't have a voice either, due to him being outcast for his previous mistakes. They find their voice in one another, and the good people that they find around them, and that eventually saves them. I think this is important to think about in the modern era, and mainly why I think this movie is so damn spectacular. We are all always so fucking connected through social media, but even with the outlets we have to connect with one another, some people still feel alone, lost, or isolated. Loneliness is a terrible thing, and people don't always know how to conquer it, especially with how last year went for all of us, and that can eat people alive. Some people need to actually feel from one another that they are appreciated, loved, and needed, and that can come from anyone, despite their past mistakes in life. I think this movie affected me more than it may affect most due to mental struggles I've been experiencing, but... I think we've all had our fair share of struggles for the past year, and that's why I think everyone should watch A Silent Voice. This movie shows maybe what I think we all really need, because yes, A Silent Voice is beautifully animated, has a phenomenal score, and some of the best writing I've ever seen in an animated movie, but what makes it so great is the emotions it portrays in such a real, yet creative way through the medium of anime, and its messages of friendship, love, and loss really hit home. It teaches us to be kind to one another because you never know how far that can go for someone. This film is a fucking beautiful work of art and more than deserves your time and thought. Please go watch A Silent Voice. It's on Netflix. It's a wonderful, wonderful movie. And even if you're not all that into anime, I think it's a great movie nonetheless. So give it a try. But thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. I can't express how much that I appreciate all the feedback and positivity that you guys give me. It really helps. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. I put out content somewhat like this semi-regularly. But as always, have a fantastic rest of your week. And stay strong. Keep your head up. Peace.